This week on Inside Boulder News, the city and its partners celebrate the completion of the Boulder Transit Center. Recovery efforts continue as the community marks the one month anniversary of the floods and a rec center pass program makes a difference in the life of returning veterans. Welcome to Inside Boulder News, I'm Mike Benuelos. Transportation and other functional improvements to the Boulder Transit Center have been completed. The area is once again open to bus, bicycle and pedestrian traffic. The updates are thanks to a voter approved capital improvement funding and a collaboration effort involving the city, RTD and CDOT. To enhance the efficiency of bus operations and increase pedestrian safety, the one block section of 14th Street between Walnut and Canyon Boulevard has been permanently closed to auto traffic. More information about this project is available on the city's website. The rains that caused flooding throughout the region started falling a month ago today. From road reconstruction to finding homes for displaced residents to planning ways to capture the community's experiences, it's clear that recovery is an ongoing process. There are, however, causes for celebration. An important accomplishment occurred this week with the reopening of Highway 119, giving Canyon residents access once again to and from the city and their homes. We feel very good about seeing the spirit of cooperation. We've seen community members out, neighbors helping neighbors, neighbors helping their neighborhoods and their community parks. And that's wonderful to see. We've seen that same spirit of cooperation among the governments, you know, whether it's you see a street sweeper out in Boulder that has a logo on the side that says Lakewood or DIA or a Vactor truck clearing a sewer inlet that has a Broomfield uh, insignia on the side. Well, those are communities helping communities. Th those are communities reaching out to us. We'd really especially like to appreciate CDOT who so quickly uh, got into Highway 119 west of Boulder here, opening up Boulder Canyon. And that provides great access to uh, Nederland and other communities. The closure definitely impacted us. It was kind of the start of a really busy season for us with the leaves changing. Everybody is thrilled about opening the canyon. The uh, N bus is the bus that goes from Nederland to Boulder. When the canyon closed, first thing I worked on with RTD and with CDOT was to get an alternate route. That alleviated a lot of traffic problems. And then once the canyon opened, everyone was thrilled to be able to use the end bus and to be able to use the canyon to get to work. Our trails weren't nearly as affected by the storms. We had a pretty steady rain for several days. The moisture we received in July and August actually did more trail damage than the storms. The road riding Along the peak to peak is fine. Uh, Brainerd Lake Road is, is fine. The recreation area at Brainerd Lake is actually closed now, so cyclists can go around the gate and do the lap around the lake with no traffic. Great opportunity, but you know, between here and Estes Park, the peak to peak is pretty unscathed. Come up the canyon. Additional work will be necessary to make the repairs more permanent. Important steps have also been taken to help the hundreds of people who have been displaced as a result of the damage to their homes. Well, the city of Boulder, the housing division in particular, worked in collaboration with Foothills United Way, the City of Longmont, and Boulder County Housing and Human Services and Housing Helpers to develop a program to offer short-term as well as long-term rental options for residents displaced by the flood. Today, more than 30 households have been assisted in finding rental housing needs that work for their family. In addition, Housing Helpers has more than 70 units available for either short-term or long-term rentals. More information about these opportunities is available through Housing Helpers. If artistic expression can help the community find comfort, then have we got an opportunity for you. The city and the Boulder Museum of Contemporary Art are working together to develop an exhibit that features art related to the floods. The City of Boulder Arts and Cultural Services Office is partnering with the Boulder Museum of Contemporary Art. And the idea is to have artists respond directly to the community and the effects of the flood. We recognize that there's going to be conversation about what happened that goes on for years to come. But now is the time when we can take best advantage of an artist's talents and bring them into that conversation, have them respond. And that response may take 
several different forms. It could be sculptures in a park. It could be interactive pieces that, that are formed with the community themselves. It might be events or music or poetry or photography. There could be all different ways that artists respond. But the idea is to, to access these local artists and have them create works that are profoundly about the healing and the processing of this event. The American Red Cross is an organization that many turn to in times of natural disaster. The recent floods were no different. As part of an ongoing effort to recognize groups that are making a difference in our community, reporter intern Morgan Boydston spoke with Red Cross spokeswoman Patricia Billinger about the organization's work. The Red Cross relies on a group of well-trained volunteers who we recruit and train throughout the year. So we tap into those volunteers immediately. We have Red Cross volunteers who've been with us for years here in Boulder. Um, many of them responded to the wildfires over the summer and helped out their neighbors. Many of them were right here at the Boulder YMCA during um, other wildfires that affected Boulder County. Uh, and so we tapped into those volunteers and they took care of their neighbors, opened up shelters, um, provided health, mental health, outreach. And then of course we also it was a huge response. We brought in volunteers from all over the state and all over the country to help out with this major response. For more information about the Red Cross and its flood-related contributions, visit redcross.org. If you'd like to watch more of Patricia's interview, like the Channel 8 Facebook page and see the complete interview posted there. Making a successful transition from military to civilian life is one of the toughest missions a soldier can face. To provide support for the mission of reintegration, City of Boulder Parks and Rec began offering free 90-day welcome home rec passes. The program launched on Memorial Day weekend and more than 50 veterans have since added the past to their battle plan. When we separate from the military, it's kind of hard to know where to start. There's loads of paperwork. It's hard to know where to even begin. I found when I leaving the Marine Corps, so much of my identity was wrapped up with being a Marine, and I didn't know how to translate that into being a civilian. To be able to just come to the gym and clear our minds is, is one of the first steps that a vet can take toward that process of reintegration. Our council asked us to look into providing services for returning veterans as well as active service members and reservists. Um, and they've been very supportive of the program since its inception. It's a really good fit with the mission of our department because we're dedicated to community health and wellness and promoting the health of the entire Boulder community. So it's really important to us to offer programs to people of all abilities and from all walks of life. So we feel like this program really um, exemplifies our mission. I'm up on the hill at, at CU on the GI Bill, and I know there's a large population of vets on campus, but it's so hard to find everyone, because it seems to me that we just are trying to disappear into the woodwork. But that doesn't mean that we have to throw away our veteran past. I did mountain warfare training twice, so I learned how to ski in the Marine Corps, and I learned how to rock climb, and I took that when I came back here to um, the next level by really pursuing um, those activities. Got a gym membership almost right away. I was going to the gym in school. I was meet that's how I was meeting people through activities. And if I wasn't active, I probably would have been sitting at home, you know, watching TV, being miserable. This rec pass kind of gives us an opportunity to come to the gym and do what feels good for us, do what we're comfortable with, blow off that steam, meet people in our communities. In addition to the free 90-day welcome home pass, City of Boulder Parks and Rec is offering discounts on yearly rec passes to veterans of all ages. You can learn more about all the Rec Pass programs on the city's website. Thanks for watching Inside Boulder News. Stay in touch with us on Facebook and Twitter by submitting news tips and questions. You can also sign up to receive video updates right in your inbox. Just go to boulderchannel8.com and click on subscribe.